This video is going to go over the new probing functionality in GibbsCam 14. In process probing using GibbsCam is going to really speed up your production. You're going to be able to check parts, make sure they're in spec while they're on the machine using your probe. It's a really great process. It's really easy and it's all right inside of GibbsCam. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the different probes we have available to us in GibbsCam 14. We have a few different styles of, of probe tools here. So we have a ball, disc, cylinder, and then you can create your own. The 2D form probe and the 3D form probe tools, they follow the same rules of creation as the other tools up here in GibbsCam. If you have any questions at all about creating tools in GibbsCam, please reach out to your local reseller. So let's go on to processes. The basic probing functionality lets you input a pre-existing cycle into your code. So if you already have a probing cycle that you use a lot or you want to type it out by hand, you can go ahead and just put it here and then GibbsCam will insert it using these clearance and retract planes. I have a little bit of code right here. So now I would just select the geometry and then go ahead and click do it and it would probe that geometry using these settings. The next one we have is corner. This one's pretty self-explanatory. You can pick up a corner of your stock, shoot this out of the way so we can see it. So here, for instance, I want to pick up the lower right hand corner of my stock. Now, when we probe on a machine, you're getting data back, right? Whether it's a measurement or true position or position to a coordinate system. What do you want to do with that information? That's the key. So here we can say we can set it as our work fixture or our work plane. But we're going to say we're going to go ahead and set it as our work fixture and we're going to pick up that lower right hand corner. So here we can see the representation of it. Let's go ahead and look at simulation. Now my stock is represented by a solid, but you can get the idea where it's touching on those, those corners to pick up that zero. Next, let's take a look at shapes. The shapes process gives us a little bit more options. So let's go ahead and check it out. With the shapes process, we're able to select different types of features, um, pockets, bosses, whether they're rectangular, circular, or just a single surface. Again, once we have that information, what would we like to do with it? We can use the feature that we define in this process to set our work fixture. But really what I want to do is I would really like to check the measurement, the X and Y measurements of this shape right here. So I'm going to call that a rectangular pocket. I've already selected it. Here I can say, do I want to measure X only, Y only, X? I'm going to say X and Y. So there's my measurement. But instead of a work fixture offset, I would like to measure it and check it against the model. If it's oversized, if that hole's too big, there's really nothing we can do. So we're just going to alarm out and stop the program there. But if it's undersized, what I'd like to do is run another contour mill around it. In order to do that, I inserted what's called a go-to move. What a go-to move, it's, it's a utility app. We can just insert it by pressing here. It's down at the bottom. And what these are is they're targets. And I've kind of pre-baked this a little bit. If we look over on the right, you can see I have a go-to move. And then there's my contour. So I'm going to say go to the sleeve bore. Again, here's my target. And then run the program from there. Let's go ahead and check this out in simulation. So there's my corner app. You can see it gives that little star where the touch point is. There's my shape. And let's just assume that it, it was out of spec. So it was a little bit small. So there's the, the tool going in and cleaning up around it. If you have any questions at all about probing or fixtures or solid modeling, please feel free. Give your local resellers a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.